Welcome to Haltech NSP Elite Training Part 19. In this training module, we're going to be exploring how to go and capture a data log and saving a data log using our NSP software, specifically with our laptops. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our data logging function in our Haltech NSP software for use with our Haltech Elite standalone systems. Now we have two forms of data logging that we can work with. We have laptop data logging and an onboard data logging. Laptop data logging is what we're going to be covering here in this tutorial. It's specific for when we're doing the general tuning. We don't need to go in and have things logging at high speeds. And essentially we want to log all of the available channels that we have going on in recording the data from our Haltech Elite. In the onboard data logging, something we're going to take a look at in our next tutorial, that's more focused on being able to capture specific channels at specific logging rates or frequencies, and we don't need a laptop in order to onboard data logging. There is a finite amount of space on your Haltech Elite, so there's only so many channels and so much logging speed that we can actually work with in order to go in and capture our data and being able to play that back. The onboard data logging is really useful for looking at high-speed events such as shock travel or wheel speeds or knock control. If we're talking about slower moving parameters such as coolant temp, air temp, throttle position, map pressure, all of those can be logged at a slower speed and they can be laptop data log. The only time I work with the onboard logging personally is when I'm in racing conditions with a client's vehicle and they don't have a laptop or can't have a laptop by law, by, allowed by the rules in the vehicle and in that case we will store the data to the ECU, come back into the pits and retrieve the data and then we can be very specific about what channels we're looking at and what speeds we're logging at. With the laptop logging option or PC logging option, that's going to log all of the channels at one speed which I believe is about 30 to 40 hertz for that logging speed. We can log up to a thousand hertz or a thousand samples per second on certain channels with the onboard logging. So definite difference between what we're working with in terms of our logging. And again, this video is really gonna cover just our laptop logging. This is our more practical logging that we're gonna be working with the majority of the time with our elite systems. So let's jump in here and talk about what is data logging. If you're new to tuning, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about right now. So let's just take this a little bit slow. Let's talk about what a data log actually represents. So I'm connected to my box right now, and we can see the engine here is running at roughly 22, 1800 RPM. We see we have these data channels streaming data. So as I'm speaking right now, my engine is running and I'm able to see all of this information. If I flip to a different screen, let's look at something like our fuel tuning, we can see we have other bits of information here, a lot of channels. There are hundreds and hundreds of channels that can be looked at in our ECU. And obviously we can't watch all of the channels at one time, physically impossible. What a data logging is gonna allow you to do is essentially record all of these channels as the engine is running when we laptop data log specifically. We can play that file back at another point in time. You can think of data logging like a video you record with your phone. You can record it, let's say it's a couple minutes long, you can play that back at any point in time and see exactly what happened in that video. It's the same kind of idea here, although this case we're looking at the specific logging channels in this system here. So I just want to go and demonstrate something real quick. If I right click here, and I go to something like number display, for example. We're gonna find that the available channels, these are all of the available channels. If we look down our list, there are hundreds and hundreds of available channels. When we are PC logging or laptop logging, we're recording all of these channels and it's going to put that into a file format that we can play back. There'd be no way we could look at every single channel, so the advantage of the laptop or PC logging is that we log everything at a little bit slower rate, 30 to 40 hertz, 30 to 40 samples per second, which is still adequate enough to do any tuning that you'll find, or most majority of tuning that you'll find with your vehicle. So let's take a look at how we can actually initiate a laptop or PC data log. It's actually really, really simple. We have two options. One, we can learn the keystroke to be able to start and stop a data log, which is what I use when I'm trying to calibrate and tune a vehicle. Or if you're getting familiar with this, taking things slow, we could jump up to logging up top here and we could skip over all of the other options and just simply go to start logging to PC. If we click F6, that'll start our data log. If we click F6 again, that'll stop the data log. So if you wanna go and capture a dyno pool, for example, you go ahead and click F6, you'll make your run. After the run's completed, you'll click F6, 
it's gonna then... Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.